I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. At a press briefing on Wednesday, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis warned against the Biden administration repealing Title 42. DeSantis tore into President Biden's record on the southern border, stating that the president has violated his oath of office. The popular governor went as far as to say Biden deserves, quote, honorary membership in the Mexican drug cartels. Biden's handling of the southern border remains a key criticism of Republicans going into the midterms. Let's listen in to the Florida Republican. Also just would like to point out that we are bracing for the Biden administration repealing something called Title 42 at the southern border. And if you've looked, we've had, since Biden has become president, uh, I think about almost 2.5 million people illegally cross uh, the southern border. Uh, what does that mean in terms of the quality of life for Americans? Well, we know we've seen record human trafficking, uh, sex trafficking, drug trafficking, such that now the number one cause of death for people 18 to 45 in the United States of America is fentanyl overdose. Uh, they may be making it in China, but they are bringing it all right across the southern border because of what he's doing. Now, even as bad as those numbers are, that has all been done with this Title 42 in place that was a legacy from the Trump administration where they are at least turning away some folks who are trying to come illegally. When they open that, you're going to see a major flood uh, of people going across the southern border. And uh, we've taken action. I mean, I sent people last year from Florida to help Texas. You know, the problem was they would be capturing these people coming illegally, and they just walk right across. I mean, they just walk right across. And so you give them to the, to the feds, and then the feds would release them anyways. And so I didn't think that that was really a good use of resources. Uh, it, you know, they need to be putting them back. I mean, that's really what you should do. So, uh, so we sued Biden on catch and release, actually in Northwest Florida in federal court, and we're winning that case. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, well, I'm also going to sign a bill here in the next couple weeks that any of, if there's contractors that the federal government hires to dump illegal aliens in Florida, then those contractors forfeit the ability to do business with the state or with local communities. And we're just not going to do it. And then I have, uh, I got money from the legislature, which will be available uh, starting in June, so that if Biden is busing illegal aliens into our state, we're taking those buses and rerouting them to Delaware and other jurisdictions. <laughs> So stay tuned on, on that. I just think it's uh, unbelievable, the failure at the southern border. And you know, the thing is, you know, he took an oath, Biden, to support and defend the Constitution, to take care that the laws are faithfully executed. And he is violating his own oath of office by allowing massive numbers of people to come across the border illegally. Uh, you know, those border communities are just getting killed down in southern Texas, you know, with everything coming in. And, you know, honestly, he should be, Biden should be given an honorary membership in the Mexican drug cartels, because nobody has done more to help the cartels than Biden with his open border policies. And so, so it's a total disaster. Uh, it's been a disaster, I fear, with Title 42, if they do repeal it. Uh, I think things are fixing to get even worse. So we're going to do everything in our power to make sure that we're protecting Floridians. I mean, honestly, they should just let the states handle the border. I would send people to do that if we were able to, to prevent people from coming and actually send them back. But the states, uh, the, the Texas isn't doing that. So, so that's, I think, uh, that's unfortunate. But we would help in that effort if we're doing it. And um, so stay tuned. But we're going to be on the ball, and we're going to do everything we can to fight back. All right, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you.